So by Pride only sponsoring one of the letters and ignoring the other letters, I felt like they'd done a disservice to the community, so I wrote them a letter. <laughs> Dear Barclays, you probably know why I'm writing you, you bitch. <laughs> You sponsored Tom Daly to go to Pride, daft bastard! <laughs> Actually, it's great that you're sponsoring Pride. Pride is an LGBTQ plus event. It's about celebrating all of those letters and all the different types of identity that they represent. It's about people who are into kinky stuff. It's about some stuff that a lot of the people who work in your bank would find really weird. It's not just about a particularly attractive gay diver who you can use to improve the perception of your brand. So I'm writing to ask if you'll sponsor me, not to go to Pride, but to one of the less airbrushed events. I want you to sponsor me and my friend Paul Chuckle to go to the Folsom Fetish Festival in Berlin. <laughs> It's a festival for people who are into leather and being tied up and wearing costumes. I went a couple of years ago and nearly got wanked off by a unicorn. <laughs> I've mocked up a sample Instagram post. Naturally, the real thing will look much worse. Bob's your Uncle Joe Lysett. <laughs> now... Bless you. That, that pasty photo came in handy, as you can see. Very useful there. Not had a reply from Barclays. Um, I did send them another thing. I sent them a painting I did of Tom Daly. I'm not thrilled with it because I don't think it looks like Tom Daly, but I fucking nailed that hand, didn't I? <laughs> Just out of um, curiosity, you don't have to cheer if you don't want to, um, but give me a cheer if you consider yourself part of the LGBTQ plus community. <laughs> oh, 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 welcome. The rest of you should leave. <laughs> oh, bless you. Thanks for coming. Let's talk about another bank that I'm in trouble with. <laughs> I'm actually in proper trouble with this bank. This is the Royal Bank of Scotland. I mean, right. So Peter worked not for RBS. He worked in an RBS building in Pigeon Park in Birmingham, if you know it. He was working in an office space in this building. And um, I went into that office with him last summer. And as a result of that, he had to write a letter of apology to the manager of the building a few days later. <laughs> and I'll just read to you that letter. He wrote, Dear Sir, I am writing to explain the incident in your office and offer my sincere apologies for any involvement on my part. I invited a guest to the building to show them a project we had been working on and benefit from his expertise. What had actually happened was we were on the piss and he had a bottle of wine under his desk. <laughs> At security, he was asked to enter his name for a guest pass. I did not see what he typed because I was dealing with some emails on my phone. Uh, they get you to type in your name on a fancy touchscreen as you go into the RBS building. I didn't want to do that. I was feeling silly. So what I did is I just typed in the first two words that came to mind, which happened to be rhubarb bikini. I don't know why. <laughs> there was a short discussion between my guest and the security guard. This is where the security guard quite rightly said, what's that? And I said, it's pronounced Ryan. <laughs> and he said... It's spelt rhubarb. And I said, yes, it's Irish. <laughs> then a pass was printed and we were allowed into the building. Here is that pass. <laughs> Subsequently, an image of the pass appeared on social media. I put that on uh, Instagram with the caption, someone broke into RBS with the pseudonym rhubarb bikini. <laughs> The minute I discovered this, I asked for this image to be removed, but I appreciate that by that point, damage had been done to the reputation of the business. It got about 10,000 likes. <laughs> I offer a full and sincere apology for this. Regards, Peter. He was taken in for a disciplinary a few days after we did this. They slid this pass over to him and said, do you know this man? I just love the idea of him going, that's Rhubarb Bikini! LAUGHTER